I mean, I, uh, I mean the amount of remodeling here is uh, yeah. <laughs> so is uh, flabbergasting. Yeah. So I should. This is the the square. So it was against this wall or this was thirteen. Thir I would say thirteen was to the right here, yeah. and twelve was here, and between the two. There was a very Fortunately, I was right in the middle of my chief residency year in cardiovascular surgery when January 6, 1968 occurred. Shumway, in my mind, is legitimately uh, the spiritual leader of the transplantation program. So I operated in um, room 12 to harvest the uh, heart from the very first donor. And Dr. Shumway was opening the recipient, preparing the recipient. So when I finished, I walked through that little connecting causeway into room 13, where I placed the heart on the uh, back table, and then went and uh, stood opposite Shumway, and we uh, excised the heart of the recipient. I had my doubts at that point about the total legality of what we were doing. At least we had a replacement <laughs> the graph <laughs> yeah. on, the, on the back table and uh, sutured it in, resuscitated it, and it works beautifully. We then closed the patient up and wheeled him out of room 13, down this hallway, yeah. <laughs> I believe this hallway, to, and then to the left to um, what was in the intensive care unit. There's been some remodeling. Right. The bed was situated in, in this orientation. Okay, I noted uh, reporters trying to climb the wall of this particular area of the intensive care unit. I personally did not have to deal with that very much. Dr. Shumway uh, <coughs> appeared at all of the uh, press conferences that were held after the operation. At the time, you know, he had to prepare the press for an outcome that would not be totally successful. And he did so by describing the patient's series of complications. And he did succumb 15 days after operation. But it was a, um, a milestone experience. And uh, so I was in a perfect position to help Shumway in the culmination of all of those years of experimental work with the first clinical case. It was magical.